Matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Now, that's just saying the Lord chose you because he can. And that's why the rest of the nations hate us, black man. That's why the nations hate you, black man. Because the most high God, what, you would point? Yeah, because the, because the, the nations hate you. Hey, my brother, in the yellow shirt. Let me ask you something. Why come here? Why? Let me ask you something. Do you think that it's, do you think it's a coincidence? Let me ask you, do you think it's a, uh, no, let me let him read it again. I got a question for you. Read verse 6 again. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. If God said that you black man are above all people that he's ever created. Where's the equality in that? If the Lord sets your race above every race that he's ever created, where's the equality? So if I'm setting it above, does that mean it's the same as everything else? No, it's above. The Lord, the most high God, creator of everything, set you, the so-called African-American man, black man, black woman, Hispanic and Native American, he sets us above everybody that he ever created. Why? Because he can do that. He can do that. Now let me ask you something, brother. What's your name? TJ. TJ, let me ask you something. Uh, you went to church growing up? All right, let me ask you something. Did they ever teach you uh, that Christ was a black man? Did they ever teach you that? Did you know that was in the Bible? All right, I'm going to show you that. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to go a step further. The Most High God, his father, his father, have they ever showed you what he looks like according to the Bible? You know why? Because they don't know. That's right. They don't know. And if they do know, they're not going to tell you. Why? Because what, what runs the church's structure? This man. This man. And you know what the Bible says about this man right here? You know what the Bible says about this man right here? He says he's the devil. Right. The deceiver. That's, right. That's what he is. And what did he deceive you about, black man? He deceived you about this. You stick around for, for a minute, I'm going to show you something that you will never be told ever according right. to the scriptures, all right? Bring now, out. what's the importance of knowing that Christ is black? Because let me ask you a question. Uh, if you were looking at, you, you familiar with Buddhism? Are you familiar with um, Islam? You familiar with that? Uh, dang, you were familiar with, I'm trying to show you something far as Hindu. the other Hinduism. nations, Hinduism, Hinduism, all of those, any other? Okay, all right. The point being is, majority of their gods look just like the people that worship them gods, right? right? Why is it that the black man, Hispanic man, and Native Americans man, God, looks just like the man who brought him here on chains? Why is that? It's a good question, right? I'm gonna show you something because there is power in visualism. There's power in images. There's power in that. Because here's the message behind it. If I were to show you this all your life and tell you that Jesus was uh Jesus was a white man, think about what Jesus represents. Think about what Jesus represents. Jesus was a man that was sent here that did no wrong and did everything right that the Father commanded him to do. Now you take something so powerful like that. And you say, hey, hmm, give me Revelation 1 and 14. Hmm, we take something like that, and what he represents, power, and we put our face on it, what are you gonna think about the people who they made him look like? How are you going, how, what, what level of respect are you gonna treat them on? What, what, what plateau are you gonna put them on? Right, say if it was Asian people, say it was Asian people who did that, right? That did this to us, right? And they say, hmm, I'm gonna make a Korean Jesus. You gonna think that these people, the, the Asians, Koreans, these people are the God sent people. 
this is God's people right here, right? So that's power in images. Now, they took that image right here. They took that image right here on the far right-hand side, and they changed it to their image so that you would worship them, the white man. But the Bible says this. Give me Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. We're going to get straight to the point. Read what you got. The book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. I'm going to show you three things, okay? This is the first thing. What does Jesus look like? His head and his hairs were white like wool. So you have here two things. You have a color and you have a texture. Obviously, everybody grows old. So everybody's hair turns a grayish or a white, right? Okay, but now you have something that sets those things apart. You have a texture. Does everybody on the earth have the same texture here? No, that's something that sets this race of people apart from this race of people. Now, let me ask you this. Primarily, what race of people, people have woolly, coarse hair? Black people. Obviously, everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. Right? So, this image right here, is that woolly, coarse hair right here? No, it's not the exact opposite of it so why is that being portrayed that that is jesus there's more read on his head and his hairs were white like wool uh -huh. as white as snow uh -huh. and his eyes were the flame of fire now you've been around older african-american gentlemen before you know sitting around little groups and you know after a while after we drink what color usually does our eyes stay the same no they get darker or a reddish pinkish tint right so excuse me so Christ, this is going to show you because a lot of people say, well, Christ didn't drink. Christ was uh, holier than that. No, Christ, when he was here, he had to deal. You see how hard-headed our people is? Christ said, yeah, right. Christ had to take on them power, power problems and then die for us. And then die for us. I'm going to show you that also. But the point being is you have something you have. You don't see no red eyes with that. You don't see no red eyes with that. You see, what, what, when you see this image, what are things that come to mind? How does that make you feel when you see that image? Video How does it make you feel? Okay. Look at the pictures. Would that be somebody you take out the wall with you? Would that be somebody you like, I'm gonna have right next to me or whatever, we going, we going out here. You know how hard it is out here. We going out here, I'm going out here with that man right there. He going, no, you're not gonna take that with you. But you see that image over there on the right hand? You gonna roll with that one over there, right? Yeah, that's right. Our Lord ain't no soft, effeminate white boy. What comes with this image, I tell you, image is powerful because what comes with this is soft. Christianity has made the black man weak. Right. Christianity has made the black man weak and guess what? And made the black woman strong. <laughs> make the black woman strong. Right. right. She going she gonna pop her chest up at you. Watch as soon as you tell her something that you that that she does not agree with. She gonna bump her chest up at you. And guess who, what image taught her that? That image taught her that. Because that image right there, that image right there, she ain't bucking up against that. And that's what you supposed to represent. That's the image you supposed to put on. Read on, that's more. And his feet like unto fine brass. That says your feet. Now, if your feet, your feet aren't blue. Your feet aren't green. Your feet aren't yellow. Your feet are usually the same color as the rest of your body, if not a little darker, but usually the same color as the rest of your body, right? Okay, so there's no confusion. Read on. As if they burn in a furnace. Read again from the top. And his feet like unto fine brass. Let me ask you something, bro. Well, uh, brass, you ever seen, you ever seen like a, a tuba trombone or something like, are they light in color? No, they're usually a what color? A dark color. So you have all an already dark color. That's not brass. That's pink. That's not brass. That's not brass at all. So you have something that's already a dark color. Let's just say, let's just imagine uh, a penny. A penny, a penny, no matter how clean it is, is it a white color? Is it a clear color? Is it a clear color? Oh, okay, all right. So you have something that's already dark. Read on. As if they burned in a furnace. You take anything and you burn it. I don't care if it's white rice. I don't care if it's flour. You burn it, nine times out of 10, what color is it gonna turn? It's gonna turn black. So you have something that's already dark. And the scripture said that Christ, his skin was as it burned in a furnace. That's a really black man. You can't get, light, you can't get white out of that. That's right. So you have a color. 
Because I hear this foolishness that people say, well, Jesus was all colors. Jesus was all races. How many all races people have you seen on this earth? None. How many all color people? You seen any rainbow color people walking around here at all? Okay, I just had to make sure that we're not crazy, all right? So you have a texture of hair and you have a color of skin, which is black, which is black. Now, the imagery and the power with that, if he looks like that, you wouldn't call Christ a so-called black man at the time when he was on this earth. He was a race. You ever heard of the Jews? You, you heard of the Jews before, right? So what is the Jew, which is just short for the word Judah? What did they look like? Because there's a people, it's a reason why I said, now I'm going to get on to my third point. It's a reason why I said that people right there that's portraying themselves that they're, they're, they're God's people is the devil, according to the Bible, the deceiver. Because there's a, there's a race of people that's pretending to be another race of people on this earth. So, before this Bible, before we had said anything to you prior to this, what did you think nine times out of ten, the color of the people that was in this book? What was taught to us? White. White. And so we opened up this book. The scripture says, blessed is he who readeth. Blessed is he who readeth. So we're going to show you something. So if Christ was a Jew. He comes from the tribe of Judah. What does Judah look like? What does the people of Judah look like? We're going to show you. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. We're going to show you. Now you notice how we're showing you everything out the scriptures. The main part what I'm trying to get to you is we are the Jews. Right. Now there's something that comes with being a Jew. Okay. There's something that comes with being a Jew. And right now our people don't know that. And that's what's killing us. That's what's killing us. Now, I'm going to make the connection after I show you what your people look like in the scriptures. Because there is race in the scriptures. Right. Sister, there is race in the scriptures. There are races in the script in the Bible. It wasn't just all uh, white people. There were other races in the Bible. But there's one important race in the Bible. And that's the Jews. Right. That's the Jews of God. And that's who only mattered. That's who God's only concerned with. That's all he ever cared about. Would you want me another day, sister? Hey, uh, Yana, what you over here the other day, sister, when we was out here? Your face looked familiar. Yeah, you was over here. I remember you. Yeah, uh-huh. Try to slide by us. Try to slide by the prophets. The Lord put the spirit on us, sister. You need to be out here. We saw my brother. I'm sorry. I'm bad with names. TJ. Simple name, too. TJ. Right. The purpose while we're out here is to show because the God has given something to the Jews, and we're not doing that, and it's killing us. So I'm gonna show you what we look like in the scriptures, and I'm gonna show you our purpose, and your purpose, all right? This, what you're about to get, you're not gonna get in church, and this is the most important thing you're gonna hear in your life, as long as you're on the face of this earth. Right. Because it's the truth. The truth is always important, right? Right. Okay, so give me Jeremiah chapter 14, verse two. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, and verse two. I'm reading the King James version of the Bible. This thing that's sitting around your house, when you go to a motel, you can open the drawer, it's always right there. You anywhere, you can get access to it anywhere. I'm reading the same, these, the same words I'm about to read to you is in every King James version Bible. We didn't write this, all right? This has been a long, this has been here way before me or you were here. All right, so watch this, listen up. Judah mourneth. We were talking about the Jews. Jew is just a short abbreviation for Judah. Just like if my name was really Christopher, a nickname for Christopher would be what? Chris. But it's the same person I'm addressing, right? So read on. Judah mourneth. It says Judah is in mourning. Read on. And the gates thereof language. The gates are our leaders. I'll break that down later. But here's the most important part. Read on. They are black. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black. They are black. Like what? Unto the ground. Unto what? Unto the ground. So make sure that we are not changing anything in this book. Let's use common sense. That's right. When you look on the ground, what color is the soil? Bring it out. It's black That's or right. a derivative of brown. Gee. God said, I took that, hold that, and get. let's get the first man ever created. God said, let's not be simple. Because people can sit here and take that and say, oh, that's talking about a condition. No, God said it's black, and he compared it to something. All right? So he said, I took already what was on the ground, took that, and I created man. Now, I'm going to show you that everyone in this book is a derivative of brown, right. either of light or of dark color. Right. And they matter to the Lord. Right. 
All right, so we're going to show you the first man ever. Read you got The book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 26. Before you read that, it said they were black like what? Remember what it said? Like on what? They were black like what? Like the soil, right? Like the soil, so it said like onto the ground, right? Remember that. Listen up. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Jump to two and seven. 27. Two and seven. Genesis chapter two and verse seven. And the Lord God formed man. Formed who? Formed man. Formed mankind. Read. Of the dust. Of the what? Of the dust. Of the what? Of the dust. Of what? Of the ground. Of the what? Of the ground. So what did God make man out of? Dust of the ground. So what color is the dust of the ground? What color is dirt? Black. Black. The first man or the first the first beings on this on this earth were dark skinned people. This book is only about black people. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.